weight loss. Everybody's looking for it. But how do you really measure the results for weight loss? So let's talk about some easy steps that you can identify great weight loss results. Number one, look at yourself in the mirror. Has there been any changes? As your stomach went in, your shoulders popped out a little bit more, you will be able to see these changes. And if you don't, don't worry about it because you're looking at yourself every day. And it might not stand out to you like it stands out to other people. Number two, how do your clothes fit? If you're wearing the exact same size clothes you wore before you started to get on the weight loss effect, how are they fitting now? Is your shirt baggy? Is your pants pull out, right? Do you need an extra couple loops to really tighten those belt buckle so you can have your pants stay up behind your waist? This is another great way to see. Number three, how do people react to you when they see you? Do they come up to you and say, man, it looks like you've lost a ton of weight, or man, you look great. This is another way to identify that you're getting good weight loss effects. Number four, measurements. Everybody can do it. A tape measure, put it around you, right? See where your arms are at, see where your waists are at. Be consistent about what you're measuring though, right? Don't change up where you're measuring on yourself. You can do this every week, every two weeks, right? This is another great way to find out. And you'll be directly looking at your results and where you're at through your measurements. Don't look at the scale. The scale is not your end all be all. So don't worry about if pounds are shifting up or down. Now, obviously you're looking for pounds to move down, right? But you can change the way your body looks without that number changing on the scale, okay? So just take these different things in hand with you if you're looking for your weight loss results and how to measure them. These are just some great tips from me to you guys. It's helped a number of patients out there I think it's going to help you guys too. What's up guys, John and Sharice down here at iHeartRadio. We're actually gonna record our little sound bites to go on the radio for New Year's. And uh, we're gonna spread the word of what Type Medical Center can do for you. Feel better, look better, and perform better with Type Medical Center, especially in 2022. Get your fitness and health on with us. So you guys are gonna see all the behind the scenes right now. I'm gonna go see my good friend Brian Fink right now. He's gonna record us just like he did before. <laughs> we're gonna get the good word out to help you guys Feel your best, look your best, and perform your very best every single day. So let's go. Stay tuned. Hey guys, John from Type Medical Center here. And if you guys want to look better, feel better, perform better in 2022, then you need to contact Type Medical Center. We can do everything from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, healing peptides, sexual peptides, and weight loss peptides. Also blood testing for everything out there from hormones to STDs to food sensitivity testing. So if you guys want to feel young, look better, and get over the sickness, then call or text Titan Medical Center today, 727-389-3220. What's up guys, Sharice here from Titan Medical Center. Are you sick and tired of feeling sick and tired? Well, guess what? We have the solution. Here at Titan Medical Center, we offer an abundance of therapies that can help you look better, feel better, perform better, and even help boost your immune system to be the healthiest and sexiest version of yourself. Let us help you achieve your health and fitness goals today. Call or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us at TitanMedicalCenter.com. So those are just some of the different things that we have to go through every day. You know, we're coming up with this content right now on the spot, on the fly, we're gonna put on the radio here in my heart. So it's just uh, some a little bit behind the scenes of what we do and how we create some of this content. It's, it's up here, I guess, and we just put it out. Wow, guys, that was so much fun. It's always fun coming to iHeartRadio. That's right, we just wrapped up production here at iHeartRadio Studios. 
to have our commercials that are going to be live on the air on the radio on 93.3. So make sure you guys are listening up for those commercials and make sure you guys are checking out all the behind the scenes and everything that went on here on our TV show. It's on ABC Action News every Sunday, 11 a.m. Make sure you check out the Titan Medical Center Health and Lifestyle Show with me and Sharice. So guys, birthday was awesome. I want to give a big thanks out to everybody that did come. Um, if you couldn't come, I understand. And uh, thank you guys for everything you guys did, right? Um, I want to give a big shout out to Nicole Dimitri, right? Because I got a present after my birthday, which was really, really cool. And I didn't expect it and it's not expected. Um, but it was really awesome because obviously I own a Lamborghini. And uh, so, they got this awesome gift. I see this all the time online, but I never got to get it. I just always tell myself I was gonna get it. So to get this as a gift was really, really cool. That's awesome. True Lamborghini fashion. And uh, it's a champagne Lamborghini makes. And they give these awesome glasses and the bottles right here. So let's put the bottle go center in there. So I made a part of my display in the Titan Lounge too. Love it. It's a nice little sentimental gift, I guess. It's home. I appreciate Dimitri. I appreciate Nicole. And um, I appreciate everybody that came, obviously, and everybody that gave me a gift. But I want to give a big, a big shout out to them because I didn't get to thank him personally for it. Uh, I got to thank her, but not him. The Bull. Raging Bull. So big shout out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look it up. Booty God, Dimitri. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. These are just some of the consequences of not taking care of your health. Many diseases are preventable with good, healthy lifestyle choices. Using Titan Medical Center therapies and maintaining a healthy, active lifestyle, along with proper nutrition, can help you live a longer life and keep you feeling tight and strong. Our personalized approach to each individual patient is tailored to meet their specific needs. For more information on becoming a patient, call or text us today at 727 389-3220 or visit our website at titanmedicalcenter.com Welcome guys to the final reveal of the Tight Medical Center Lounge. It's official, we're finally, I would say done, 99% anyway. So I want to do the full reveal for you guys to show you some of the cool things we added to Titan Lounge. Um, if you guys have been following through the last six months, year, I guess, I've been trying to put this thing together. And uh, I wanted to do it at a high standard, right? I wasn't just gonna settle for things to be put in here or get done. So I wanna make sure it was perfect because I was gonna spend a lot of my time in here, Sharice was, 
or even some of the different people we're bringing in here. So at that point, I want to make sure it was to the Titan standard all the way through and through. So I thought this thing out meticulously and uh, I put all the pieces together and knew with the crazy stuff going on with the supply chain, I was able to secure the things that I wanted and needed for the lounge. Um, so I want to give you guys a little tour of the lounge. You guys can see kind of what's in it. And some of these things I've had sitting here waiting for this lounge for a while or waiting for a place to put these things and finally got the right, uh, the right canvas to put these things on per se. So I had to put like a little bar area in here. You know, I had the old school uh, refrigerator back there. It was awesome. Um, you know, painted this place like I wanted it, blue and white. And then obviously I did the floors all epoxy, so I got a little freezer in here. Nothing in there yet. You know, got some drinks in here, protein shakes, juices, but it's gonna be packed. You know, I basically just got this in. So I want to pack it full of great things, nice water, stuff for my guests that are gonna be coming here. Um, you know, even for me throughout the day. It's it's important, right? You gotta be able to eat and drink and hydrate the whole day. So and water's important to me, cold water's even better. So that's one part of it. Um, you know, I've got some awesome art pieces on here. This is from Michael Wall. Um, but you're going to see the majority of the art in here from my man, Jason Skelton. Um, both are two great artists. I just got a lot more of Jason's stuff. You know, I'm really personal friends with him. I've got some of these different things on the wall. I had the TVs in here. Thank God you got to have those. And then I had my, uh, my Greek theme in here because Titan Medical Center is all about Greek, right? So, you know, I've got Atlas who's holding you know, the world on his shoulders, right? And that's how I feel every day. But it's a beautiful thing. That's Greek mythology for you. So obviously I got our, our big black couch here, which has all crazy cool features that I, I never use. We have a little backrest that comes up, right? And it comes up pretty far. I never really knew that, but it goes up. You know, got the legs coming out. So if you want to extend here, kind of relax. And I never use this either. I'm usually not sitting down. Uh, most of the days I'm working, I'm usually on my feet. I like it like that. Um, but if I ever do use it, I do got it. Or some of my guests will probably use this way more than I ever will. Blue rug, I thought matched perfectly with uh, the epoxy on the floor. And some blue tints, obviously the blue and white theme that we have in here. So this is kind of one of my favorite sides of the lounge, right? I've got my own little, little personal workout area here. I've got pretty much everything that I want and need. Um, you know, to suffice what I need to do here, keep myself in shape, do all that. Plus any athletes, ambassadors, guests, friends that come through, um, I can just take them in here. If we want to do photos, videos of all that, even educational things, we can do it right here. Nobody's going to be in our way. We can control the environment. It's really nice. So after that beautiful experience here in the gym, we're going to go right into the conference room. So this is where the work gets done. Um, whether it's just me and Sharice that are working in here day by day, or we have meetings per se, um, this is where we can have this great meeting at this conference table. And at that point, you know, if I have to project things on the TV, I can do that as well, presentations and such. And you'll see that beautiful, it was all a dream, Skeldon, Jason Skeldon, I work on the wall. Um, that's our motivation every day because this was all a dream to us. Um, never thought this was gonna be reality. And it's tamping the background there in that picture. It's a beautiful thing. It's, uh, it's motivating every day for me. Um, so that's what it's all about. So that's the tight lounge. You guys have got to see the full experience of what's going on in here, behind the scenes per se. We got a couple little more things, details I think we're gonna do in here, but this is it. So hope you guys like it. And if you guys get to come in here and experience some of the, the fringe benefits, then you're gonna be a lucky one, I promise you, because it's gonna be exclusive. So I appreciate you guys, thanks. At Titan Medical Center, we believe in health and wellness for body and mind. Our wide range of therapies have been helping people live stronger, healthier, and happier while performing at optimal levels. For more information, call us or text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, you'll see me, my beautiful wife, giving you guys awesome tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully take your relationship to a whole nother level of enlightenment, love, and romance. Hopefully. Right? Hopefully. Yeah. We'll Not see. everybody has gotten this in their life yet or uh, has been able to experience that love or romance, but that's okay. We have faith in you guys, we believe in it, and the world will give it to you as long as you're asking for it and doing the right thing. Manifesting. That's a manifesting. Manifest my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sure a lot of girls that I know are, that are single are manifesting rich, uh, good looking, young men so they can marry and have awesome families with. Wow, I'm not sure if I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I was manifesting any of that. I was just hoping for a good guy. <laughs> That's all I was asking for. Just uh, give me a good guy that won't cheat on me, right? New day, a new age, right? Yeah, I guess so. But anyway, so this week we want to help you guys out with one topic that does come up quite a bit. Um, and people really don't know what to do or really how to respond to it, I guess, to certain circumstances. Right. And that's insecurities. Oh, no. That's insecurities in your relationship or insecure people in your life. And yeah. It could be your partner. Um, it's kind of crazy, right? Insecurities can definitely do damage to the relationship, do damage to, you know, your communication portion of the relationship and a lot of different things out there um, by having insecurities, right? And, you know, it's not healthy for the person that has the insecurities as well because, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the little things that are going inside your head and you're making all these other scenarios up <laughs> and you know then then you think the scenarios I can are build, real I can build a whole story you can build it just off of one small thing that was misplaced believe it and then take it out <laughs> on your partner because you think it's true <laughs> so this is something you know it's it, there's a fine line right with insecurities and jealous jealousy and all these different I'm things I'm never out jealous there, right? ever <laughs> But, uh, you know, what do you do, right? What happens if you're the insecure person or you're in an insecure relationship? Yeah, that's a tough one, huh? That's a tough one, right? Because a lot of different things go along with insecurities like trust and, and different things. But, you know, usually insecure people have dealt with past traumatic situations mm -hmm. or issues by other people in relationships that have done them damage. And, uh, you know, I know some of my friends and my guys call some of these girls out there and oh, there's guys like go. damaged goods some people's trash is other people's treasures oh my so. god <laughs> <laughs> it's like buying expired uh, vegetables at the but store. it might not be expired to some people that's what i'm saying right it's just expired some on the people ticket. look at things as trash some people look at it as treasure it really just depends on um, you know their point of view and hey, how they look this at things is why I, I, love, I absolutely love my husband <laughs> But you know what do you, what do you do, right? So you know what, what do you do? So if you're this situation, you're the insecure person, um, and do you realize you're the insecure person? That's the first thing, right? Yeah. You got to realize this and, and say, listen, you know, I do have some insecurities and some past things that happened to me, and this is why I feel like this. And I think that's the first thing is communication with your partner. We always talk about it, or even maybe even recognizing. I guess at first, yeah. Because if you're in like denial. denial. Then that makes it worse yeah. because then you guys are just fighting over something. You're like, yes, you are insecure. No, I'm not insecure. Yeah. Yes, you are insecure. Yeah. No, I'm not insecure. Now, you can't even get past the point of like, how are we going to correct this? Because yeah. you can't come to terms that you're insecure about whatever. It might right. Be. Like, no, I'm not. You did this to me. Like, oh no. Maybe you did. But hey, who and knows? maybe the other party has to uh, be. Uh, you know, for up and come for, up and come forth and say, "Hey, listen, maybe I did do this to you." Yeah, maybe it issues. works both ways, right? There's a two-way street on. Well, <laughs> mostly not down here in downtown. There's lots of one-way streets. However, yes. in relationships, there should be a two-way street, and there usually is always a two-way street on yeah. everything. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it works both ways. So yeah, so the communication portion is the most most valid and most number one priority thing you should really take into consideration when you're talking to your partner because at that point if you're telling them hey listen this is why now it might not be a good reason why but at least it's a reason why and that's just not you're just doing out of thin air <laughs> you can at least say oh well it was because of past relationship which the rebuttal should be probably like this is in your past relationship 
you should be judging me on me, but it's kind of hard because that's all they've been used to in the past. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel for them. Well, I mean, then, then you, then the other party should probably maybe think, all right, how, what can I do to make them feel more secure? Right. Yeah. Or what, 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 what might I be, be able to go out of my way to make them feel better about it? Yeah. Right. And insecure doesn't just mean like, I mean, insecure can go from all the way from like mentally insecure, yeah. emotionally insecure to physically insecure. You know, you could yeah. be insecure about something on your body or something on your face it could be i mean it could be something physical right, right. so if it was something like that that's an easy fix right? right you know you just you're gonna have to support your partner and be like hey listen obviously i'm with you because i love you and i love everything about you right so it's irrelevant you know what you're thinking you need to get over it because you're seeing something that i don't see right. you know it's what that's an easy one yeah. now all the other things about you know putting uh air tags in their car tracking them down a little bit you know who is to say? I mean, it's it's a it's something fun to do, but the apps <laughs> or uh, calling into the phone company because you guys have, are on the same plan. Yeah. Oh, and then getting the, the, the detailed call log. Yep. And then going down and calling every phone number on the call. I log. have never done that. <laughs> never, never. I have never ever done this. This is funny. We stuff. have been together a long time. Call logs. <laughs> yeah, those work out really good. Really, really good. Especially if you take the phone and really go through it and start digging in the numbers oh, and stuff. Man. So yeah, I should have been a private investigator. <laughs> I told him that when I met him. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I never should have been in nursing. That was not really my true career. My true career must have been yeah. to be a private investigator. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> if you're the insecure person, obviously identify the insecurities and, and, and know that you have to deal with them in some way, shape, or form. Right. If you're in the relationship and you're dealing with insecurities, the insecure partner per se. You know, communication is going to be key there too as well. Talking to them, telling me, hey, listen, you know, I feel this way, uh, you know, and I don't like to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way. And what can we do about it? And they're like, well, you made me insecure by doing this, this, and this. And they give the examples. Then you're like, all right, well, at that point, I'm going to prove to you that, you know, you don't need to be insecure about these things. And that takes time too as well as action. Because you can say it all day. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Yep. I promise. I'm going to change. Whatever it is. But until you show the action of doing so, it's just words, right? And at that point, they don't really mean anything. Even if your word is bond, it really doesn't mean anything yet until you put those actions into play and show bond. that person. You know, I'll give you an example. I like using real life examples and I'll use John as an example. What a great example, right? So, you know, we've been together forever, right? Um, and so John, when I first met John, I mean, listen, when you're in the first like two, I would say solid two years, right? Because it sounds like a long time. It's really not that long. But even in the first one or two years, you're really still figuring each other out, you know, what, what your butt, hot buttons are, what to do, what not to do, whatever it is. I'll give you a prime example, right? So when I first met him, we would go out to places and people would take pictures of us and stuff like that. And obviously we take group pictures, right? And so John, he, he's like a very friendly, I don't know about anymore because I'm like, Rawr! but you know, he was always been a very friendly guy, you know, with females and you know, and would just maybe like put his arm around them or something or, and then you have the girl that puts the arm around him or something and, and it's on the other side. And then I get the copy of the picture and I'm like, why is she hugging you like that? Like, I don't even like that. So over time, John has become weary of it, you know, and kind of, you know, I think he's, at least he understands like, okay, maybe I shouldn't have this girl stand next to me for a very bad photo op of Sharice getting these photos and this girl having her hand anywhere near me because she doesn't like that and that's just how I am, right? He's finally accepting me for who I am. I'm sure he doesn't get, you know, now he doesn't get mad about it. Back then it was just it was all hell broke loose at every given point in time. And that was great. It's made us in who we are today. <laughs> it's molded us, for sure. <laughs> it has molded us. Um, but I'm telling you, that's, it's, it's something small that it kind of relates to, to this issue. And I, I couldn't say I was like insecure because I've never really been insecure per se, but I just didn't like it, you know? And I'm like, I don't want anybody giving you a hug like you know like in, in any areas that I don't like or too tight or too low or too high or too close you know it's just I don't like it so what did he do because he loves me is he made a conscious effort to make, make sure that they're separated and he made it he made a change and that's my point to the story is that 
you know, I expressed to him communication. I don't like this. This is bothering me. Da, 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 da. Even though I probably felt stupid saying it because he's like, what is your problem? Are you really like, are you really stupid? Like, are you being stupid? Why are you being like this? And I'm like, because I just am. I don't like it. I just don't like it. And of course, it's like, you know, and he's made the conscious effort, you know, quickly too, to be like, hey, whether it was a conscious effort because he loved me or conscious effort because he just didn't want to hear my mouth. <laughs> One of the two or the combination. I mean, either way, he fixed it. So that's the point is that, you know, communication and then obviously on the other end or however you guys want to work it out to come to some sort of agreement of like, okay, this is what makes sense and I'm okay with this now or, you know, I, now I feel better about it or whatever it might be and you're doing it because you love them and you want them to be happy and you want them to not feel insecure and you want them to feel good about themselves or whatever it might be. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you truly love your partner or you truly like your partner a lot, maybe it's in the beginning stage or whatever it is, you want them to feel the most comfortable they possibly can, trust in you. Um, you want to build that over time, obviously. So, you know, just give your best effort, right? And make them feel really comfortable and, you know, at ease when you're around them or not around them, per se, because that's when it really mostly happens. Uh, it is what it is. But just make those conscious efforts, communicate. That's key. Communication. And don't be insecure. And if you are insecure, make sure you communicate this to your partner so they understand why. And you guys make changes so you guys can move forward. That's yep. what it's all about. All right? So that's another awesome Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. Every Sunday, 11 a.m., we'll see you guys, giving you guys all these great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new level. We'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. See you then. <laughs>